probably don't want to hear it, but summer break for students is coming to an end. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Denise Valdez. CCSD is once again going to start the new school year with a teacher shortage. In fact, that is an issue affecting school districts nationwide. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is here with more on what's being done to fill those vacancies. Karen? Well, Christiane and Denise, school districts across the country are competing for a small pool of qualified teachers. CCSD recruits year-round and uses a number of strategies to attract educators to the valley. They've even taken their search overseas. On August 13th, CCSD students will be back at school from summer break. It feels like we just got out first for summer and now we're kind of getting it back into gear. Diane Barber says some of her son's classrooms are overcrowded. The teacher shortage isn't helping. They have to deal with so much more than they ever knew. And um, it's certainly not a nine to five job. CCSD has about 540 teaching vacancies. That's a little higher than the same time last year. But educators are currently making their way through the hiring process, and it doesn't stop on the first day of school. We typically hire about 400 teachers right after school starts. The number of vacancies also fluctuates with people leaving the school district and retiring, which is part of the reason CCSD recruits year round. Well, certainly we hope to get that number of shortages down. Um, we want to make sure that we have a quality teacher in every classroom. Kristen Sear is the chief of communications and strategy at CCSD. She says besides recruiting at college fairs and through social media, they've had to get creative. For the second year in a row, the school district has recruited teachers from the Philippines. We have more than 100 teachers from the Philippines who are coming in um, and some of our really hard to fill positions in special education. Closer to home, CCSD is expanding a program that encourages its students to pursue a career in education. A total of 16 high schools will have have 31 programs. So we're trying to grow our own here in Clark County and we've had a lot of success in some of our programs like at Clark High School. But the school district still faces a lot of challenges like the declining number of students majoring in education and competitive salaries. CCSD pays first year teachers about $40,000. It's a lot of stress and not a lot of compensation so it's it's hard to keep teachers here and it's hard to attract teachers here. Now, CCSD says the alternate route to licensure program has also been helpful. The program is open to anyone with a bachelor's degree who wants to teach. Back to you.